Hey, what's up YouTube subscribers and friends? Got a question on the channel today. And if you've got a question about anything investing related, go ahead and leave it, uh, leave it below and I'll try to make a video to answer your question here shortly. This one comes from just a couple days ago. He says, I have been learning about reading a 10K report because of your videos. Can you do a 10K report where you're looking for dilution, warrants, and reverse splits for stocks? So, hey, great question. I tell you what, I'm not going to go through an entire 10K. What I'm going to tell you, though, is what to look for. And I'll give you two examples, essentially. The first one's going to be dilution, and it comes from Fitbit, symbol FIT. And so it's a company most people are familiar with. They make a popular um, fitness band that people wear. And so here's Fit, Fitbit's um, 10K annual report. You can find, uh, find evidence of dilution in, in the annual report. You can also search for it on a quarterly basis. Just kind of depends on what, what time frame you're kind of shrinking this down to. But here's a co consolidated statement of operations from Fitbit. This is this is um, last year, 2017. They haven't quite put out their newest annual report here. Um, so this is a little old, but it, it's a perfect illustration of that. So take a look at here. This is um, obviously our statement of operations. We've got revenue. We've got other expenses on here, and it kind of runs you down to kind of a net income here. Then it shows you an earnings per share here on this line, and most more importantly, shows you the number of shares that it's using to calculate this earnings per share. So if we kind of come back up here, this column here right here is 2015. Then we've got 2016 right here, and 2017 finally is the last column. So actually, look at this. So diluted shares have gone from 164,000 shares, then to 220, and now all the way up to 232. So that's a lot, okay? That's a lot. That's a lot of dilution for a company that, um, you know, let's take a look at their stock chart. Not saying dilution... This kind of dilution where you're adding uh, quite a bit, quite a few shares, you know, what is that? 40% more shares, um, you know, in just a two year time frame. Look at their stock, what it's done. It's put a lot of pressure probably on the stock. Not saying if you didn't have a cool product or some exciting things going around your company, you certainly could be raising money. But in Fitbit's example, it shows you right there, it can put a weight on the stock. I bet if these uh, net income and earning per share numbers were positive, things would be going a lot better. As we saw in 2015, it was positive. In 2015, the stock was a lot higher. Well, Fitbit started losing money and then couple that with dilution really hurts a stock price. So it's something you want to look out for. Now, on a quarterly basis, you can find it again statement of operations where we're looking at revenue and we have expenses here takes us down to a net income or in, in Fitbit's case a net loss and then they've got the earning per share numbers here and then again we have the the diluted and basic shares here for nine months here and three and so you can see you know hey a company like Fitbit is compensating its employees and its executives with stock I'm not saying avoid companies that are raising the share count. It's just one of the things you want to have in your toolbox. Okay. A, a carpenter is not going to show up to a job with one saw and one hammer and one screwdriver. It's going to have a whole toolbox full of saws and, and uh, hammers and different length screws and different length nails and all these, you know, gadgets and doodads to help them get the job done. Same thing when you're investing in the stocks. This is just one thing to help you. And in Fitbit's case, it really has put some pressure on the stock price. Now, in terms of warrants and dilution, uh, I'm going to take you to a penny stock, essentially, a $1 stock. The symbol is NX NXTD. Now, red flag number one. So how often I find a company's IR, I'm kind of lazy. I just type the symbol and then IR, which stands for investor relations. 99.9% .9 of the time, it takes me to where I want to go. Once you kind of get back, get through kind of what Google wants you. First organic, look at this, investor relations. Here's the company. You'd think if I click on this, it would take me to the page. But let's take a look at this once my internet loads. Look at this, error. That is red flag number one. First of all, red flag number one, the stock price is under $5. Some people might even say stock price is under $10, red flag. 
I tend to agree, under $5, red flag. Searching for the IR, the number one results, takes me to an error. Now, they it looks like, obviously, they've done some web stuff, but they could redirect that. Shows me that they don't really want you to get to investor relationship. Click here, takes you to a new window. I ended up finding the, the SEC report, and I think this is actually an annual report. So what you want to do is when you come to a company's annual report, and you're like, man, what's going on with this company? Come to financings or finances or, or whatever it is. Take a look at how often this company has raised money in just a short period of time. 2016, we've got a figure. Here's another kind of registered offering here. More here. Warrants here. Okay. Might, some of this might be in conjunction of um, you know, acquiring another company, which might be a good thing. More offerings in 2016. More offering, more, 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 more. Okay, this is just, uh, this is their 2017 annual report. They haven't put out their, their most recent. There would be even more than this. Okay, now what I will say is if you've come to this and you're like, oh man, this is December 2017. We're actually sitting in January 9th, 2019. Come to their investor relations, go to their SEC filings. Come here. Sometimes these 8Ks describe it, but the, you know you kind of have to click through all of them and kind of dig through them. The other thing you can kind of come through here is come to the quarterly filings and come here and then go ahead and do maybe like a, a find and replace for like warrants or something. And then it'll start to take you through this again. Some of it might be re repeated, but um, again, look here. New warrants here. On May 24th, May 24th, they got this guy, Sagard Warrants are in, in play here. And we can see the money. Stock incentive plan. Might want to take a look at this one when a company is uh, not doing so well. See how well these guys are taking care of themselves. Um, I've seen some crazy things. But to wrap up the video... Hopefully I helped answer your question. Here's just a couple examples. Again, Fitbit, kind of an example of kind of just long-term dilution. We've gone from 164,000 shares to 232,000 in just a short period of time. And we've seen uh, kind of kind of weighed on the stock. Not saying that's the only reason why the stock's kind of gone sideways and kind of down here um, the last few years, but certainly could be one reason. Another thing is when you search investor relations, take you to error page. That's red flag number two. Uh, red flag number, no, excuse me, that's red flag number one. Red flag number two is when they do all this fundraising, when they're constantly fundraising, 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 fundraising. You better really believe in their product and their vision. Otherwise, you're going to just get diluted and wop, washed out as these investors have. From this company i don't even need to show you the stock chart you can guess uh what it's done over the last few years hopefully this helped answer your question again if you have a question leave it below i'll turn over the next couple weeks i'll try to get to as many as i can C come out with a couple of these shorter videos to kind of try to answer um as many questions that i can again doing this 100 for free hit the subscribe button hit me a thumbs up uh leave me a question i'd love to get back to you thanks for watching have a great day. I'll talk to you guys again.